Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ramisha and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to manage S3 storage from AWS CLI based environment in AWS cloud. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is S3 storage and their use cases. So S3 means simple storage service. This is the storage for the cloud. We can use Amazon S3 to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. We can accomplish these tasks using the AWS Management Console, which is simple web interface, or we can also manage from the CLI based environment. So guys, let's begin the lab session and we'll find out how to create and manage S3 from CLI console. So guys, this is my AWS management console. So for S3 creation management, firstly, we have to make a Linux instances and then after for S3 management access, we will use IAM role with S3 full permission. So what I'm going to do first, I make Amazon Linux instances with normal setting. Okay. So for this, I go with EC2. or you can search it for EC2 from here and click on the instances launch instance go with the Amazon Linux okay T2 micro is good for me go next go with default storage okay okay give the name so this is my first machine so I say first say security control security group so in this I go with new security group going to launch and I make a new key pair say first if you have existing you can go with that download the key pair and then launch instances so this way I have firstly installed my EC2 Linux classes. Okay. So it's going to be created and now it's a pending status. So now until it is created, let's move to the IAM role and make a role with S3 full access. So for this I search IAM here and open in on an other tab. So the point is, what is IAM? So IAM means identity and access management that enables you to manage access to the web services and resource securely. Using IAM, we can uh, create and manage AWS users and group and use permissions to allow or deny their access to the AWS resources. Okay, so let me I console launch. Here it is and go with the rules. Click on the create role, select your service, in my case this is easy to go with next, okay, filter policy, so here I search S3 full access, here it is, Amazon S3 full access, select it, go to the next, next, give a new role name, so I said my S3 test role, could be anything, so click on the create role. So role is successfully created. Here it is. That is my S3 test role. AWS services EC2. Okay. Now go back to the EC2 console. And uh, if I click on the EC2 dashboard and on the running status. So here it is. One is running. Now, now I have to attach this newly created IAM role with my EC2. So I select my EC2 and go to the action. And here image and templates. Uh, no, no, uh, we go with security. Yeah, in the security, we have modifying IAM role. Click on this, select your newly created role that is my S3 test role, and save it. Okay, so it give me a message as fully attached. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna act. I'm going to access my EC2 and go with the rest of the tasks. So let's connect my EC2 with my Git Bash utility and create and manage S3 from there. So for this, I click on my instance connect copy the path and I'll go with the where I have download my key that is in download open git bash from here okay a little bit make it large for you okay and I paste say yes 
and I'm logged. Okay, login with sudo. Okay, now so the first task is to check the AWS version. So I have the command AWS hyphen hyphen version. So this command will tell me that uh, I have AWS hyphen CLI installed on this machine with current version 1.18 hyphen 1.147. So AWS CLI package is by default available with Amazon Linux. So that's why I select it. Okay. Now uh, the first command uh, is is I'm going to use which is shows me that currently we have uh, let me check currently we have any S3 bucket available in the cloud or not. So for this I run the command AWS S3 LS command. LS means listing. So it shows me currently there is no S3 bucket is available. So now make a S3 bucket first. So for this I run the command AWS S3 and for making the S3 bucket we run the command MB and S3. MB means make bucket and give the name so i am give a bucket name ppqq1 so this is a bucket name so one point we have to keep in mind that s3 bucket name should be globally unique otherwise it is not created okay so it give me a message that ppqq1 is created now again check one more time and that our s3 bucket is available or not again using ls command so here it is ppqq is available okay now next point is uh, let's let's see that any object file is available in s3 bucket or not so we can go aws aws and uh, remove mb type ls and select the bucket name now when i press enter see uh, now currently it's blank there is a not a single file available so let's make a normal frame from ec2 and upload it into the s3 bucket so i uh, make a file file name test go with vim editor and say i love linux save and quit from there and make one more file say okay and get and type aws cloud whatever you want say aws cloud save and quit okay now i have to file test and okay so now i upload this file from my c to the s3 bucket so the command is say aws s3 remove ls type cp file name is test and where you want to upload in ppqq1 my s3 bucket it's uploaded successfully similarly if you want to upload one more file you have the option you can go with replace test with file okay so now it's uploaded okay so uh time to check whether the file is available or not in the s3 bucket so again i go with aws s3 ls c look at the file is uploaded successfully so now the point is if you want to download the next point is if you want to download this file from s3 bucket to your ec2 instances so for this you have to run the command aws s3 cp and bucket name this time again ppqq1 the file name uh, in my case suppose i want to download test file and give a nice file name new file name so i said fine what so when i press enter see that what happened the file is downloaded and assign a new name that is fine one so if i go with ls command simple command ls so look at that here is the find one so if i type cat and find one it shows me the content of the file that is available in the test okay so this is the another uh, this is the method through which you can download the file from the s3 bucket now the next point is if you want to remove any file from s3 bucket we have the option we can go with the uh, suppose i want to remove the test file from s3 bucket so you can go with cp uh, remove cp type rm rm is remove the file okay now file is successfully written removed it shows me delete message and again if i go with ls let's see yeah it's completely removed from from there okay so so this is this is how you can remove the file from s3 bucket now move to the amazon web console and find out these s3 bucket structure in web console so if i open my web console and if i search here s3 and open in another terminal let's see let's see what happened take some time ok 
okay let's check yeah I have only one file yeah here it is so whatever we have done from AWS CLI command it reflects here so this is my bucket name and it's in North Virginia region objects can be publicly accessed and if I open it I have the option I can go with my files or I can download and upload it whatever I can okay so this is how we can uh, manage through AWS CLI console also and uh, let's uh, let's the, uh, let's move to the final point that is suppose if on a remove s3 bucket with all uploaded file so for this we have a command aws s3 and say rb rb means remove bucket and uh, if you have the file in the bucket you can go with force force options okay so this command and this command will remove s3 bucket with all objects file okay so if i again check my uh, web console and if I refresh it let's see what happened everything must be wiped out okay so this is how you can create manage and access s3 bucket from the AWS CLI console and uh, now if I check it one more time say does we have any s3 bucket available no it's not and it is clear okay so guys this is how you can uh, you can create manage and access s3 bucket from aws CLI console and uh, finally this is the end of this topic and uh, hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye